right. So next up, we've got our, our wild card. You may have seen them in the startup alley, and they just found out they're presenting very recently. So uh, I wish them the best of luck. I'm sure they'll do great. Please welcome Nicola Labs. And presenting are Will Zell and Rob Lee. Hi, everybody. My name is Will Zell, and I am a co-founder of Nikola Labs, where we allow you to download power from the air. In the 1800s, Nikola Tesla pioneered the transmission of electricity over wires. Shortly thereafter, Hertz proved that energy could be transmitted through the air. These two technologies have become the foundation of the consumer electronics industry that we both know and love today. But there remains a huge problem. We're using 19th century technology to power 21st century mobile devices. How many of you at some point today were scurrying around trying to find an outlet just to get a little bit more juice in your phone? It's a terrible, terrible, terrible problem. And you as a consumer deserve a better solution for power for your mobile devices. Our technology is a breakthrough technology that converts radio frequency energy transmitted by mobile devices into extra battery power for that device. And I'm very proud today to show to you and the audience worldwide, apparently, our very first product integrated with Nikola technology. And that is a smartphone case for the iPhone 6. When you use your phone, you're constantly transmitting energy. But over 90% of that energy is lost into the environment. And that is perfectly good energy that could be put to use. And that's what we do at Nikola Labs. Our case is embedded with a harvesting antenna that is proprietary that captures that wasted RF energy and then takes it through a conversion process to convert it into electricity and then dumps it back into the phone. And in fact, we've been able to prove that we're able to extend your battery life by 30% simply using wasted energy transmitted from your phone. So when we started this company eight months ago, we had one mission in mind, and that mission was to bring a breakthrough product to market in one year. There have been a number of other companies in this space that have spent tens of millions of dollars in many years and still don't have a product in the market. In partnership with The Ohio State University, we have pioneered this technology and are bringing this, this technology to the market in less than one month from now. We partnered with Ohio State because they are the leading RF research institution, academic institution in the United States. And we are led by the inventor of the technology, Dr. Chi Chi Chen, and Dr. Rob Lee, co-founder, uh, who are the great inventors behind this technology. And why a case? Well, out of the 220 million smartphone users in the United States, over 30% have purchased some sort of product to help them get a little more power in their uh, phone. But unlike battery cases and portable chargers, our, our technology does not have to be plugged into use. It is a green technology that simply harvests wasted energy and converts it into DC power, extending, extending your battery life. But, this is the first product of a huge system that we look to create over the next few years. Our next product that we're going to bring to the market is a wireless charger that will provide near field and far field powering solutions to meet you as a consumer where you are, whether that's at your home or in your vehicle or at Starbucks or at work. We will be bringing wireless powering products to the market to give you what our dream is, and that is 100% mobility but not only for mobile devices, but for many, many uh, connected devices when you think about the Internet of Things, including low-power sensors that can live 100% off of our technology, meaning you put a sensor into a structure and you don't have to worry ever again about changing the battery because it will live by harvesting the ambient RF energy pioneered by Nikola Labs. So, 
As I mentioned, in one month, we are launching this product, and we will be doing that on Kickstarter. So this is probably the point of the, uh, the, the demo where, or point of the pitch where I would show you a demo, but frankly, our technology just works. And I guess to prove it is, you know, throughout this day, we've all been using our, uh, our smartphones, and these suckers have been using it without a case, and uh, I've been using my phone with a case, and I still have 63% battery life. So it's not a spectacular, in-your-face uh, type of technology, but it's a technology that works, and it works passively, and it gives you extra power that you need to get from sun up to sun down. So we happen to be standing in the building, where Nikola Tesla spent the last 10 years of his life. In his autobiography, he outlined ways that he believed that his technology would re revolutionize our world. All of those have come to the past except for one technology, and that is wireless power being ubiquitous. We're Nikola Labs, and I invite you to join us in our revolution to truly make wireless power ubiquitous in our world today. Thank you. Great presentation, You're like right on the mark. <laughs> Judges. Great job. Thank Can you, you talk a, a little bit more about why you're starting with an iPhone case? Yeah, so uh, actually working with an Apple is uh, somewhat complex. So this is uh, technologically the most difficult, difficult case for us to, um, to work on. We're actually rolling right into a Samsung case as well. So when we launch, this is ready to go. Shortly thereafter, the Samsung will be uh, available to be purchased. But is there a proximity issue to the RF so that you have to be within a certain, like, so when you're talking about kind of having all these products that are wireless that, that are not attached, or, so what's the, is there a limitation in the technology why you need to have a case for right now and you yeah. expand that technology? Yeah, so, so that's what's a little different about our case. So it's actually working off of energy transmitted by the phone itself. So our secondary products deal with the, the transmission of energy, which is, is highly complex, and that's a, a big challenge for all of the companies that are pursuing this space. So we're going to provide a series of near-field and far-field products that help with the transmission, but to get started, in our goal to accomplish true wireless power, we'll be 30% of the way there using simply energy that is uh, wasted from the phone itself. So it's a protective case, and it's also giving you 30% extra power. So this sounds awesome. And to, to, to your point, um, you know, you built it pretty quickly. So uh, how much does it cost and why hasn't anybody done it already? So how much does it cost? So we're going to launch it for $99 on the Kickstarter platform. Uh, why it, no one has done it, I'd let Dr. Lee answer this, um, why uh, our, our team is awesome. <laughs> so, so in the area of electromagnetics, that's, that's the area I specialize in, uh, most people are trying to do wireless charging. They're really looking at that aspect. I don't, I don't think mo anybody has really thought about the fact of, of capturing energy from the phone itself. So that's the, the unique feature that we have in our, in our phone. Can you talk a little more about the intellectual property here and sort of um, any IP protection you have or other barriers to entry around the business yeah. and how hard this would be for others to replicate? So we have two patents, one associated with the harvesting antenna itself. Uh, the second patent associated with the rectifier, which converts it from uh, RF energy into, into DC power. Uh, we believe we have a rectifier circuit that uh, has a much higher efficiency than, than what's available out there right now. What, what type of patents are those and when were they granted? Uh, they're right now in provisional patent stage. Provisional, mm -hmm. got it. And they're not, are they method patents or are they on the underlying technology? Uh, I think uh, both patents are, are really uh, on, the, on the device itself. Got it. Yeah. Oh, on the, on the, on the underlying technology. On, they're on the underlying technology, or they're on the device. So, so, so one, is, one is the underlying technology. One, I could think you could think of it as a methods patent, but it also has some underlying technology in there as well. Right, on the device, okay. And when you said w w these patents, I thought this came out of Ohio State and the professor, so and yeah. only Have you licensed it from the university? Or? We have a, a signed exclusive worldwide license with the Ohio State University, so they're our partner in the business now, which is great. Last question, what do you guys think of Michigan? <laughs> they're, they're great except for one day of the year. <laughs> I, w I, I wanted more from that you. Much. I, I wanted more from you. <laughs> <laughs> what I can't say is probably not appropriate for uh, this audience. That's what I was Well, saying. maybe. Yeah. No, I will. I'll refrain. <laughs> Can you talk about some of the other commercial applications for this technology? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, low consumption sensors 
um, is actually a really sweet spot for this technology. So there's ambient RF energy in the environment, and for, for uh, sensors or devices that are low in, in consumption, they can actually be powered fully uh, with our technology, meaning you could have a battery in there with our technology and would not need to replace batteries you know, a couple years down the road. So that's a, a really big market opportunity for us. How big is your team right now? I mean, you guys have a pretty aggressive product roadmap. Where are you on the yeah, team? Absolutely. So we've got a great balance of business leaders, uh, the research team, and uh, investors who are operational as well. So we've got six people who are pretty much working full-time on this right now. What about the engineers? So, so we have a t uh, the inventor, uh, Chi Chi Chen. He's a world-renowned leader in tennis, probably one of the tops in the world. I myself also am internationally renowned in the area of electromagnetics and tennis. So we're working on the technology. Are you full-time at the company? Uh, we also, um, I would say that everybody is part-time except for maybe the students. We have several students working on it, basically full-time. Do you plan to join full-time when you incorporate the company, all of you? Yeah, so, so the company's uh, already incorporated. We're already launched, and we will have absolutely yes, and then we're going to aggressively grow our team um, with, with more people on it. Do you need to beta the device with some of the judges at, heart, at TechCrunch? Sure, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, mean, I think that has to be a requirement yep. for yeah, Don. We, we, we brought two of them judgment. with us today. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> I'm sure these guys won't miss having. Yeah. Uh, having. <laughs> so I, I want to go back to what you said about the people who hadn't really thought to do this before. It seems to me engineers have been beating their head against yeah. the wall trying to fix battery issues for a long time now. And so it strikes me that someone, I'm just surprised by that. Was there some eureka moment you had in the lab where this became possible or what? Was there something else going on here? So, so we're not quite sure why nobody else has looked at it. We've looked in, at to, to, in the literature trying to find people who have done this, but nobody we found has done this yet. Fair enough. Just one other thing on that. Have you done any searches on other third-party intellectual property here to make sure you're not infringing on whether it's a Samsung or Motorola or now Google? So we've got a very aggressive IP strategy and putting a lot of resources behind it. We've retained an IP lawyer who's focused on, on giving us all of that very important information. So I saw the Kickstarter. When are you going to start shipping? Uh, so we should be shipping four to six months after the Kickstarter. It's, it's pretty much ready to go. Our supply chain's lined up. We're, we're good to go. All right. So unfortunately, we're out of time. You guys did a great job. I know you just found out you're, you're going to be on 